Hello and how are you guys doing today? Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. I'm Glenn Kay of Silent Takeover, Dolphin Shavers and Silent Shavers. And today we're going to be checking out a Town Hall 11 Hog Attack. Before we get started, if you find the video useful, then please give me a like or comment below. I'm always keen to hear for any ideas on content you guys would like me to bring you. So please give me a shout and I'll do my best to bring that to you in the future. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel where you'll find more content and videos on Town Hall 8 through to Town Hall 12. Uh, and if you'd like to join me in Clash, check out the description below. You'll find the clan tags and requirements for joining us, as well as a link for the Silent Takeover Discord. Okay, on to the content itself. It is CWL Season 6, and for us, things aren't going that great. We've been heavily outnumbered with Town Hall 12s almost every day. Um, as you can see, we have four Town Hall 12s, and the maximum we were up against in one of the days this season was 11 Town Hall 12s. So if you're a max 11, just about to push to 12 or indeed a non-rush 12 um, we'll let the walls slide a little bit as long as they're not ridiculous uh, but please check us out and come and join us and help us in the fight hopefully in masters free um, but there's a possibility we'll be back down in crystal one for next season today's attack is from day one and was completed by corey so if you're watching corey thank you very much for allowing me to use your replay for the video and in this one he's hitting number 13 so let's check out that base as you can see it's another one of those island bases split into the four compartments with two ITs a eagle and the CC in the fourth compartment and then obviously the town hall in the center now if you remember from the last video, which was a Town Hall 9 hog attack, if you haven't seen that one, then please check it out once you're done here. The first two things we need to be looking at were the CC and then also the heroes, the king and the queen. The warden we're not too bothered about. But as we are looking at a Town Hall 11, we also need to consider the Inferno Towers and the Eagle Artillery. So what's Corey gonna do about this? Let's check out his comp. If you look along the bottom, we've got three archers, 10 giants, four whiz, 25 hogs, two witches, seven bowlers. The CC, which he will switch to the wall wrecker, is also full of bowlers. Then we've got all of the heroes, four heal spells, two threes, a poison, and a rage. Now, what Corey is going to do, and as per the last video, he's going to use his heroes, um, but this time he's going to beef it up and make it more of a kill squad um, to push into the base and look to deal with the CC and also the heroes. He's going to do this from about three o'clock. Now, to ensure that his kill squad does go into that first compartment, the first thing he's going to do is drop some giants a bowler and a whiz and these guys are going to clear these buildings here and he will do the same over here and they will help clear this which then creates a funnel and his heroes and the rest of the kill squad will have no choice but to attack these buildings here and then push into the this quarter what he will also do is drop a freeze on this inferno tower just to help his wall wrecker get further into the base. Once the CC is lured, he will drop a poison. And finally, when the wall wrecker pops, he will use a rage to rage up all of his troops um, just to help push into this quarter and in towards the town hall. So again, to recap, we're going to clear this with a few troops, this for a few troops, just to help our kill squad get into this first quarter and hopefully or certainly deal with this section here, as well as taking the town hall and dealing with the king 
and also the CC. So what we're going to do today, um, a bit different to the usual video, is I will play this portion of the attack so you can see what happens. what is the bowlers of the witches and all three of his heroes. And there goes the freeze. And rage and the poison. Okay. Now the hog portion of the attack has just started, but I'll cover that in a moment. So if we look, overall damage here is already 28%. We've managed to take out this whole quarter of the base. The Archer Queen is down. That CC is about to go down as well. And this Kill Squad will also end up taking the Town Hall and the Enemy King, as well as a few more uh, buildings in this vicinity. And what this leaves is the hog portion of the tack. Now if you recall, when it comes to placing your hogs, you want to spread them, not dump them all in one position, which will leave them susceptible to uh, giant bombs or other traps. So if you spread them and you do hit a giant bomb, you're not gonna lose all of your hogs. Now the reason Corey is gonna come in from this bottom side is that eagle artillery. That, as that wasn't taken out as part of the kill squad attack, he needs to take it down as quickly as possible or otherwise it will do heavy damage to his hogs and probably stop the attack dead. So the hogs are going to come in into this quarter here and they will end up running up the base and around the base in the three quarters that are left of this. To support the hogs, he has four heal spells and a freeze. And these will be placed in any areas where there's a potential double bomb or heavy splash damage. As you can see on that third one with the two whiz towers and the mortar there. Um, and he's just going to use the heals to support the hogs while they finish off this base. So let's check out the rest of the replay. I'm going to stop this just here because I almost forgot. Um, I did speak to Corey after this and you'd have noticed just here that he's brought some giants in for the back end of the attack. Now that wasn't his intention, they were supposed to come in with the kill squad. Um, but he ended up not dropping them and I quote because there was so much going on. But what this means is he actually has all of these giants for the back end of the attack. And what they will do is they're going to come in here, you can see them circled. And they're actually going to help tank for the hogs on the back end of the attack. Um, so although it didn't quite go to plan, it certainly helped out in the end.
and there we have it. Town Hall 11 Hog Attack with Kill Squad Entry. Uh, as ever, if you found the video useful, then please give me a like or comment. And please feel free to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, keep on clashing.